How's everybody doing today? Great to see you. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and you are always welcome to subscribe. This is where I'm traveling through state to state, through town to town to show you just how much house we can get for our money. And today these houses have really low prices and I feel they're all full of potential like this one right here. This is a really crafty two-story build and it's listed for $18,888. And then there's this cute single family ranch for $33,900. And this one's right behind it for $35,000, full of character and charm. So we're going to look at details for these houses along with a few others while we explore the market in the state of West Virginia. West Virginia, home to 1.77 million people, you guys. And it's 77 degrees and sunny there. Sounds beautiful, doesn't it? And for real estate taxes in the state of West Virginia, 0.55%. The cost of living there is relatively low compared to most other states. And uh, this one is 18,888. And the lot itself is 2,526 square feet, the less you have to mow, right? And the house has 1,109 square feet with two bedrooms and one bathroom. It's in Wheeling, West Virginia, 26003. It's only been on the market for 15 days and it was built in 1921. And Wheeling, West Virginia is right here on the map, right in this neck of the woods. Certainly not far from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And Wheeling, we are in uh, Ohio County. So let's see what we're going to get for 1888. This looks, I just happen to like this. I think this is really cool. And when we look at the roof line, look at this. Then we have awnings over the lower half of the house. Sits up real high. This is concrete block. And these concrete stairs are going to keep you physically fit getting up to the house. And I just really like the roof line on this. A lot of potential here. So looking at the inside, we do have what looks to be the living room and hardwood floors. This might be the bedroom on the upper level because we do see the awnings outside the windows there. Do see have some ceiling fans. Here is the bathroom. Good size bathroom. Do have a window above the tub. Vinyl flooring, that must be a closet door there. And then from what it shows here, we do have a wall oven, we do have some counter space, and a little bit of cabinets, no appliances other than that wall oven. There is a window above that double sink, suspended ceiling, and this could be a bedroom here. And here's another view of the exterior. This is really cool, I think. It's a lot that we could do with this and really spruce it up. This could be painted another color, could add window boxes here, paint these awnings. This could be very creative and very colorful home right here. Okay, it's under $19,000, you guys. Under $19,000, you get the well, the septic, the utilities, the house, and the parcel. 324 Wilbert Street. This is a good way to get us started. Been in the market for 15 days, and it presents a lucrative opportunity. It was priced at 21, now it's down to 18. Situated on a quiet street. Bring your vision, I would say. Okay, any history with this one? It was listed in 2022 for 25,000, then it was removed, then it was listed recently for 21, now they're down to 18,888. I think that is really unique. And again, that is uh, 324 Wilbert Street in Wheeling, West Virginia. I like it. Okay, moving on to this one here, single family ranch. This one looks like it doesn't have any immediate neighbor. And it's a one bedroom, one and a half bath, but it's 1,568 square feet, so more than likely you could add another bedroom in there somewhere. This one's been on the market for 187 days. It's only 24 years old. It was built in 2000, and this one is in Meadow Bridge, West Virginia. Meadow Bridge is right here. So let's see, let's scroll out a little bit. We are below Summersville. We are southeast of Fayetteville, and just east of Beckley. And again, 24.9 for this one in Meadow Bridge, West Virginia. Let's see what we're getting. Man, this looks really cute. Got a covered front porch here. And it looks like you're sitting out all by your lonesome. Looks like it might have vinyl siding that needs some attention. Okay, and then grass needs some mowing. And look at this beautiful winding country road to get you up to your house here. That looks really pretty. Sitting out there all by yourself, you guys. So if you're looking for, you know, if you want to spend very little money, you got some cash, $25,000 to buy you this one. And this is 5290 Hump Mountain Road. And this one again is in Meadow Bridge, West Virginia, 25976. 
Been on the market a while, and the longer they're on the market, maybe the seller is open to negotiations. You never know until you ask. And when you're there in person, you can have a home inspection, and you can get down to the nitty-gritty. Located in the beautiful Summers County, the home is easily um, accessible to your surrounding town in need of some repair. That's all the agent is going to give us. It's unfortunate. And any history with this one? It was listed in November of 2023 for $39.9. Then it was removed. Then it was listed in January. Now they're down to $24.9. Looks like they're motivated with a capital M. That's a nice little single family ranch without any neighbors right on top of you. You got to love that. Okay, moving on to this one. Here's a cute little ranch. Brand new on the market. Just hit the market. This is a vinyl sided ranch. Looks like it's got a really nice um, concrete foundation here, covered front porch. And this one is in Western West Virginia, 26452. And this is a 1950 build with 660 square feet of space, three bedrooms, and one bathroom. Where is Weston? Weston is right here. So we are right above Roanoke. And Weston is in Lewis County. Oops. Moving on to this one here. Sorry about that. does have a metal roof. This looks really cute. And build, built in 1950. Let's see what we're getting. All right. So we do have some paneling. And again, paint is an inexpensive tool to modernize paneling. We do have some carpet that could probably be easily removed. Okay. So there's your little space heater there. does have hardwood floor. Look at that. We got some hardwood floor. Underneath the carpet. Nice. That's always a bonus. Okay, so here is view of the bathroom. More paneling. Here's your tub and shower combination with nice assist handles. That looks like it's been updated. Here is your very pretty parcel. Add a fire pit out there. Add some chairs. Grab a cocktail. Enjoy your West Virginia scenery. Isn't this pretty? A lot of bloom. I would imagine it's in full bloom right now in West Virginia. Cute little house right here. Here's a view of the kitchen. Do have a window above the sink. New vinyl window it looks like. Nice cabinets. This is really cute. Laminated countertop. Look at all the space you've got in this little house. Okay, here is your laundry room. You do have a gas stove with a range hood. Your refrigerator. Good sized kitchen. Vinyl flooring. Okay, so this looks like um, maybe utility room. Kind of hard to tell. Looks like it might be the laundry room. So you're definitely going to, you know, add some attention to these walls in here. More old linoleum. And then this is, look at how cute this is. Adorable little house here. And 304 John Street. And this is $32,000 in Western West Virginia. Just hit the market. Three bedroom home, new metal roof, vinyl siding, whole house generator shed, large backyard just outside the city limits. So you're getting public water and sewage with this house. Very nice. It's a great little starter for somebody. And it was just listed. No history. Isn't that cute? Vinyl sided gray with burgundy shutters and a burgundy roof to match. $32,000. Okay, moving on to this one here. This is a cute little single with a nice covered front porch, 33.9 on a little more than a half an acre. This house has 952 square feet. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath home, 1935 build. It's been on the market for 11 days, but I'll give you a little secret on this one. Not sure what's going on with it because when I started this episode, this house was listed for 25,000. Then I had to go back because they raised the price 33.9. So not sure what's going on with it. And uh, this one is in Beckley, West Virginia, and Beckley is right here on the map. We are in Raleigh County. So here is Beckley. So we are below Fayetteville and uh, right here in this neck of the woods. And when we look at the house here, let's see what we're getting for $33,900. Cute covered front porch. Nice little walkway up to, your, up to the front of the home. It looks like we do have an attached garage. And you're not right on top of the neighbor, but you have a neighbor. Looks like there's a fenced yard. Okay, so here we do have some issue with the ceiling there and that bathroom. This is going to need repair. So here's a view of the kitchen. No appliances, but the range hood is still intact. So we do have red cabinets up above, white cabinets below, vinyl flooring. 
carpet. This must be a living room and maybe this is a bedroom. Looks like there is baseboard heating. And there's a view of that side yard. And unfortunately, this is all they're going to show us. Very cute home, though. Nice two, win two windows that are nice in the front there. A lot of potential with this one as well. $33,000 home right here. 404 Sheridan Avenue. And Beckley, West Virginia, 25801. Been on the market for 11 days. And again, that was built in 35, 1935. And close to all the amenities in the city limits of Beckley, home does need some repairs, would be a good starter home or investment property, possibly a rental investment, so, or I'm sorry, rental investment, get some return there. Property is being sold as is, where is, and here is the history on it. So it was listed in 2018 for 85000 then it was changed to eighty. then it was removed, and here it shows in black and white, on the 3rd of May of this year, it was listed for 25000 and they changed it within the last hour because they bumped it up to $33,900. So not sure what's going on with it, but cute house nonetheless. For those of you looking in Beckley, West Virginia, new on the market, cute little house. And then there's this one here. This one is another $35,000 property, really cute, two-story home with brick pillars, covered front porch, and the lot on this one is 3,920 square feet. The home itself is 1,924 square feet, good size house. This one's only been on the market for four days. It's a three bedroom, one bath in McMeachin, West Virginia. And McMeachin is right here. We are right on the Ohio River here. Wow, look at this. So we are, let's see, we are below Wheeling, West Virginia, and right here in the McMeachin by Shadyside. Wow, look at this. Great location right here. And let's see, 35,000, three bedrooms and one bathroom. Let's see what we're getting. This is cute, really cute. So we do have vinyl siding, a lot of landscaping here that can be trimmed back. Looks like we do have some vine growing up the side. Looks like we're kind of close to the neighbors in this one, but we do have some more concrete stairs to keep you physically fit going up to your house. And we do have some nice archways in the interior and a beautiful staircase. Remove that carpet and expose some hardwood. Remove this red carpet in this room, in the living room, and it would really brighten it up. This could be very pretty. I bet this is really nice in person. Okay, so this would possibly be the living room. We do have hardwood floors. And here is a view of the kitchen, what we can see of it. Very dark photographs. And here we have a double window above the double sink. No appliances. Here we have some really nice cabinets and that's probably vintage hardware on there. That must be off of the kitchen. Beautiful brick fireplace. Look at this. Brick fireplace with a nice mantle. And then this would be a view of the... Let me move myself out of the way a little bit here more if I can. View of the upstairs where we do have vinyl flooring. Look at how, this is very spacious. This is almost 2,000 square feet of space. So here's the upstairs, very nice and clean. And again, we could paint this paneling and really modernize it. And we could remove the carpet or keep it. It looks very nice. This house does have some nice windows. More carpet in these bedrooms. It looks like a closet space there. And here's a view of the bathroom, good sized bathroom. Really lengthy tub, love that. We do have vinyl floors. We do have two very nice windows above that tub. You've got your wall sink, you've got linen storage, you've got wall, um, wall lamps there. Okay, so here's a view of the backyard. It looks like we're getting chain link fence. That adds value to the property. That's always very nice. And so here is another view of the exterior front. That's a big covered porch. So we do have some issue with that. That vinyl's got to be replaced or tacked back on there. This is a very nice house for somebody and definitely a growing family because this is a larger home over more than 1,900 square feet of space. If I can scroll back out here, get back to the details. There we go. 432 Caldwell Street, $35,000. Yeah, 1,924 square feet. That's a good size house. Built in 1926, and it says, 
investor ready, home with great potential, three bedrooms, generous square footage, and the large, large fenced in yard. So let's see what we have for history on this one. It was sold in 2022 for 34.9 in November of 2022. And now they've listed it for $35,000. This is a good sized house for the growing family right there. Only been on the market, you guys, for four days. McMeachin, West Virginia, 26040. Nice. Okay, moving on to this one. This one looks like it is loaded with character and charm. It's going to need some attention as we see right here in this roof line. That could be fixed. Again, home inspections, and you can really get down to the nitty-gritty when you're there in person. This one is at 2229 10th Avenue in Huntington, West Virginia, 25703. Uh, it's been on the market for 19 days. It was built in 1923, and the lot itself is 2,614 square feet, so the less you have to mow. And the house is 1,386 square feet with four bedrooms and one bathroom. And Hunting, Huntington is right here in this neck of the woods. We are in Wayne County. So we are right here. And we are, I think we are, yeah, we're west, northwest quite a pinch from Beckley. Okay, so let's see what we're getting for $35,000. This is just a really, this is a could be a very, very pretty home. Scrape that white paint off and repaint it. Maybe add a pop of color, window boxes. This one looks like it's just loaded with potential, and this definitely needs to be fixed on that roof line. But it has really nice wide eaves. That's very pretty. It does have a solid foundation from what we see. Oh, wow, look at this. Very nice. Okay, so it looks like they may have put some money into this one. And we have a nice staircase tucked over here on the side. We have hardwood floors, beautiful windows. And there's that front room there. Add some really pretty plants and wicker furniture in that little room hardwood floors are beautiful look at the woodwork very pretty home thirty-five thousand dollars okay so here's a view of the kitchen what there is of it looks like they haven't quite put it together but we do have the refrigerator there the electric stove we do have a window above the sink which is nice and this must be the living area and there is your electrical panel and the heater for your, the hot water heater there, or hot water tank, whatever you want to call it. And then here we do have some recessed lighting. Those must be bedrooms, I'm guessing. Yeah, nice textured hardwood floor. That is beautiful. And then there's a view of the bathroom, and it doesn't look like we're getting a window in the bathroom. Then this could be utility room, and there's some more issues with the ceiling there. Yeah, this one needs some attention, but $35,000, we're looking at the low prices and the potential for these houses. So here's your Laundry Connect, two windows in this room, that's very nice, keeps it light and bright. And then here's the rear door, looks like we're getting some stockade fencing in the back. Okay, so here's a view of the rear of the home. This is cool. This one just, I mean, just visualize this with... Scraping all that paint off and painting the awnings and just adding, just sprucing it up. This is really cute. Does look like the neighbors really closed in on this one though, but it's a neighborhood and you're going to get that, I guess. And here's another view of the front of it. Very pretty home, nonetheless. $35,000. 2229 10th Avenue, you guys. Huntington, West Virginia. And just says some TLC to add value to. Add some TLC to add value to the property is all the agent's going to say. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, and then for history, this house was listed in 2012 for $17,900. Then it was removed and changed, removed, relisted for $11,000 in 2013. Then it was removed, and now they've listed it for $35,000. That's a nice house for somebody to just, you know, move in there and renovate it, move Live in one side of it and renovate the other if you need to. But $35,000, 1,386-square-foot home. And there's where we're going to end this episode, you guys. And this is West Virginia, $35,000 or less for a house. Love it, love it. Wherever you guys are, hope you're having a great day. And if you're new here, you are welcome to, or if you are new to the channel, you're welcome to subscribe. And this is where we're checking out, town to town, state to state, to see just how much house we get for our money. 
It's great to see everybody. And uh, until the next episode, stay safe, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. Cheers, everybody.